Hi everyone, happy Wednesday, welcome to my channel, hope you're all doing well, thanks for tuning in to another video, it's another episode in my vintage books into journaling fodder and this week we're just going to do some simple pockets, um, nice and simple, a um, few little makes and then we're going to, as the weeks go on, we'll get into um, different ones some um more tricky ones and and things like that but i wanted to just get some basic pages journaling cards tags and pockets done first then we can kind of play around after that with uh, what else um, we can create so i've gone ahead and done some these are from this book um, because i know i won't get them all done um in the video so I do some just to show you and I've got um, different types of pockets but they're all basically similar and um, these are my templates I'll come to those in a minute so that's my coffee dyed paper so this one's very basic it, you literally would just glue here here and here and stick this one down on the page like that nice and simple uh, if I grab the journaling card from last week you just pop a gen, um, bit of ephemera in there. So that's a very basic um, pocket. Next, I did one that was gusseted. Um, so these aren't obviously stuck down, um, but you, um, you do the little tabs at the edge of it. And then that way um, it gives you the whole scope of the pocket. Now I've done, this one is the same size as these, as this one here. Um, but these ones are slightly different because I've gone with the image on the book page. So with the little flaps down, you would just glue the flaps down, giving you that whole um, size of pocket to put something in. So that's that one that I've done. Then, as I said, I've done some more that have got the little flaps on them, um, but I've tried to do it so that I don't lose too much of the lovely image. And on this one, the bottom bit that was cut off explained what was on it and that it was woodland plants. So I've actually cut them out and used them as I would like a digital label um, on the pocket. And that one is just going to go on the page there. It's slightly bigger um, than my standard pocket size. Um, but it still looks gorgeous on there, doesn't it? That's really, really nice. So that's all of those ones. Again, with this one, it's slightly shorter because the image was shorter. Um, and I haven't lost too much off of the edge. And again, I've used the wording that was below to describe it as though they're labels. And then this one is a tall one because I didn't want to lose any of that image by cutting it down so that one could go on a page just to the side there um, it's gusseted um, as well or oh, I've got flaps I don't know if you'd say it was gusseted but flaps um, and then the, I've just put the little description of all the numbers on there so that one's quite nice then I've got my staggered pockets and I make them like this in preparation so that all you would do is you would glue down here, here and here and then stick that on the page and that would give you a little pocket here and then a nice bigger pocket here. So that's my two one, then I do one that's three done in exactly the same way I don't stick these bits down I leave them so that it's the whole depth of the pocket that you get so this one you're only going to have obviously a little pocket this one you've got right down to here and this back pocket you've got all the way down to here so a nice big tag could go in there um, so I'm going to show you how I do those pockets I have made them before and I have used and shown you these templates um, in various other ephemera making projects um, but I use these as my guides um, for making these type of pockets so that's from that book so let's grab a book and away we go this one I think is the next book what is this one this one's the illustrated book of garden flowers I think these are going to be really really nice so we'll pop them back in there so let's have a little look through and see. This one I think is going to be nice. Um, now what I do is 
the types of pockets that I'm looking to do, these four different types, well, these are pretty much the same, just with or without pockets. Um, sorry, with or without flaps. Which, which would look best as a double or um, a single pocket. So I kind of like lay it out on the page to kind of give me an idea as to what I think would look nice. This one I think might actually be nice as a three. Um, let's just have a look. So you'd have that at the top. This middle section would slightly overlap and this bottom section Let's have a little look. We could go if we went right to the top of the page, then you went to there. You're only going to get leaves and stems, but what I might do is take this bit off of here and use that along that bottom piece. Okay, so that's that page we're going to do. That one, I think I want to do like a um, a different piece of ephemera with that one. And the same with that page. Do I want to do this one as... Okay. Four, aren't they? We could get a couple of little pockets out of that one actually, couldn't we? We could get a couple that size. So if we do that page me being quite decisive today <laughs> normally I'm like I can't use that page I can't use that page <laughs> I'm looking at this one and thinking it might be nice if we had that at the top and then some of the berries further down yes let's use that one for that style of pocket think this one would make we could get two pockets out of this and I could probably flap the edges over so we'll use that one. Well there we go that was quite quick wasn't it? I'm doing well today. <laughs> Anyone who watches my channel regularly knows will know how indecisive I can be sometimes. Okay let's go to the very basic pocket. Um, now these pockets are um, five inches across by four inches high and the reason why I tend to stick to roughly around that size is as you can see it would glue nicely down onto a page in your journal. Um, this is the standard A4 size so um, if you're in um, the US I know your sizes are slightly different um, but that's how I make my templates. It's a rough guide when I'm using digitals like this because if there's a lovely flower to the side here I might make the page slightly bigger. I've got a bit bit of wiggle room um, with the, um, the width and obviously the height as well um, on here. Okay so do I want to take in that I'm just looking at the wording at the bottom to say what they are and I'm thinking I might take that in as part of the pocket okay let's start chopping so I'm going to chop under that wording I think oh this is the uh, book page that does this on me let's turn me uh, thingy back round I've got uh, bits in my grooves now. Excuse my head as I come and just get rid of that. Okay, I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. I'm just off camera doing this. I'm just trimming off those bubbly, wobbly bits that have uh, been left. I forget about that. Okay, so my pocket is usually about four 
Um, I'm going to just trim this edge down. That's still doing it, that side. I don't want to use my um, ruler to tear these um, ones. I don't I don't mind for tags, but for pockets, I must admit, I do prefer a straighter edge. Um, but this is really cause I'm making it. It's got to be because the paper is old and it's very, very fibrous. Okay, so if that's our edge there, we now need to make this roughly about five. And we're going to chop the wording off. Okay, so I'm going to go to the side here where that three is. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to have to keep doing this every time. Sorry, guys. Um... I wonder if I've oh I got another blade. Is it to hand? Let me just have a sorry, I will be back in a moment. I'm just gonna get my new blade. There we go. New it shouldn't need a new blade because it cuts a normal piece of paper absolutely fine. But I'm guessing it's um this the paper. So let's let's just try this and see if it will make a difference okay so i've cut as far along here as i want to go i want to make it five so yeah we're not cutting too much off that side are we yeah it's got to be the blade isn't sharp enough because that's done it fine okay Damn. I need to order some more of these. I do go through them quite a bit. Okay, so that's our width now. So we're at five inches. Now I just need to decide where I want to chop this. If I had it at four, which was how high, I'm going to be chopping into that. So I think I'm actually going to make it uh, where's our things? So that's four and a half. Yeah, I'm going to make it four and a half high, purely so that I still get a little bit of that flower on there. And this would then be it's just over four. We can trim this one down. We'll do this one at four. So it's starting to go bub um, bubbly already. Look, yeah, it's got to be the paper. I think this would be a, a good one to use if I had one of those guillotines. Those blade cutters. Never mind, we'll manage, we'll manage. Okay, so we've got a couple of little pockets here. Then what I would just want to do is mark the centre so that I can put a little divot in it. I'm just going to mark the one and I'm going to put these two together because they were both the same. Not going to take much out, just a thin little sliver. And that, very simple, two pockets, done. Let's give them a bit of an ink, because I'm an inker and I do think, <laughs> do think it looks better once it's uh, had a bit of an ink up. As I'm doing with the tags, I'm not decorating these up that much, unless it's got some writing, like if I hadn't have kept that on, I'd have cut it off and maybe put it on um, as like a little label. That's the only thing I'm, I'm kind of decorating with, um, because I want to get a batch of stuff made and then have a mass decorating. I need to uh, put a load of butterflies, digital butterflies, through my scan and cut. Got the big pile downstairs because I'm uh, I've got very very low, so I printed a load out, but it's just finding the time to put them all through my scan and cut. 
Okay, so there we go. Two very simple pockets. Let's see what they look like. So we've got that one there. Just glue down the three sides. That's going to be gorgeous, isn't it? And then that one. Slightly taller so that we could get a bit more of the flower on there and it's still got the words on the bottom. Mm, I like those. Both of those are really good. Okay, so I wanted to go with this one and I wanted to kind of use the edge this bit as the flaps okay so with this one in order to take in my flaps and give me enough to um, fold over I've made it five and six eighths which I think is actually five and three quarters is that? I think it is. Um, and then it's um, four and three eighths high, so you can get a flap. So we need four. Let's first of all take this rough edge off. I'm just going to trim it. Yeah, it's got to be the paper because that's a new blade. Mm, okay. Okay, so four and one, two, three eighths. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, so we'll come to that one in a minute. scoreboard for this next stage you could just fold it over um, you could just hold a ruler up against it and fold it and do it that way if you wanted to if you don't have a scoreboard um, but I'm going to be using um, my scoreboard okay there we go that's kind of where I want that one Now, we want this, I'm going to kind of use the pocket as my guide to know where to score. So I'm going to score there. should still fit I've gone slightly yeah slightly wider um, but I don't lose too much of the image on this one so have you guys been playing along with um, cutting up books and making some ephemera I hope you have I hope it's, in, um, it's inspiring you I'm just going to snip these bits off my to the corners. Okay. So let's fold it over. There we go. So let's measure the um, centre. I keep forgetting that I'm in um, doing this mainly in inches. Although my scoreboard is in um, centimetres, which is why I was just guessing where I wanted to do it. So thin little notch out, and that. Is another little pocket ready. I won't ink it 
um, seeing as I'm not decorating at all. Um, and then I want to do something similar with this one. Okay. I think I am just going to guess on this one. I'm not going to use my template um, that much. Okay, and I think I can go down here with myself a flap at the bottom and then on here I'm going to come up here. So how far? When we're just slightly over five, but we I'm keeping that top bit on there. Okay. Um let's cut these bits, that's what we're doing. see where my center is hmm. I'm just throwing that in my bin over the side <laughs> there look at that it's lovely put a nice little label butterfly on there so that's a couple of those ones. So what are we moving on to now? Ah, we were doing one of these now, weren't we? Yes, because I wanted to use, looks like I'm going to need to make it slightly wider than five inches just to get that writing in because I do want um, to use that writing um, on here. So let's do some cutting. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to cut these. And I want to trim it up as well. And there we go. I can do the rest by hand for that. So I think this needs to be kind of there, really. Yeah, that's where I'm thinking. So I need to take off Oh, I wonder if I can keep the one and the two on there where are we we've made these five yeah that worked out nicely everywhere my top is covered in them <laughs> good job the cat isn't in here otherwise she'd get be going covered in oh she's doing much better now um she's not limping um at all now unless she's been sleeping for quite some time curled up in a little ball she gets a bit stiff bless her um but yeah generally she's doing really well um, still can't jump up on things um, she still struggles to jump up on the bed and stuff because there is obviously the start of arthritis there for her um, but we've got her a little ramp now so that works right so I wanted this one chopped off here 
because I really wanted to use that top piece. So if we make this one four, that's our first piece. It is going to slightly go a bit like that. I think that is just too little a gap to glue and it looks slightly off with that so I'd probably glue that a little higher and what where's my second piece I had this one at two and a half so that's roughly around two and a half Okay, oh, bits, bits, bits. Yeah, my finger is doing a lot better as well. Thank you for asking um, and your comments on my other videos. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's doing better, definitely doing better. Um, the only reason I've got this on is because there's just a little bit of a flap um, where the skin has dried a bit um, and it's kind of in its healing process and unfortunately I can keep catching that even on my cardigan um, the little fibres will just catch that and I don't really don't want to open it back up again um, so I've still got a look a smaller bandage on it just to protect it basically from that but the air can get into it which is good okay so that's the base of our next little pocket and all I will then do is sometimes I will do them so that they are really short it's glued like that other times I will play around with the height of where I want my pocket and I'm thinking somewhere around there. I just like that, that look. Okay. So I want to come, oh, I will need to ink this before I put them together. So I'm just bear with, no, I'll give this one an ink. on here as well won't we we could do that in a minute let's glue it together so I want to come roughly covering up those bits don't we I'm just going to bring that a little bit further down so I can see what I'm doing okay so I'm just going to put my weights on there like so, while I trim this up, uh, let's trim it up by hand. I'm <laughs> not putting it through the machine for that little trimmer there and there. Give this a bit of an ink. Well, first things first, let's just make sure it is going to, oh, not quite. I think I might have to take the one off otherwise it's not going to fit mm. there it fits now okay let's give this an ink up and then i know i've got one more book page there to do I think I'm going to go on to a different book the uh, way this is uh, cutting and tearing is really annoying me I'm going to have to dig out my craft knife I think that might be an easier way to 
you do on this book page. Now let's just move them off. Do I want this down the bottom? Oh, there's a one just there. I might do that one. Yeah, that's where I want that one. All yeah. along that bottom bit. So it's good when you can use um, the book page itself and the wording in the book to as your labels. Okay. Just going to fit along there, look. Let's wait that down for a moment. Okay, so that was one with the two. Let's have a look how we're doing for time. Half an hour, so we'll probably get another book done. So I'm going to leave this page and we'll do this um, design next. So let's just move these to the side. Okay, what book have we got next? Let's do this book. And I'll show you which one it is. It's this one. Uh, the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Wildflowers because this one's going to be quite interesting because of how the pages are laid out um, in this one. So that's the book pages. I'm just going to swap back over this. Excuse my reach across here. Put that back in there and go back to the one that is still good enough to use on most pages. <laughs> Okay, let's move some of that up out my way. That should have dried enough. Let's just grab our... So you would glue all along these three sides, pop that down on there, and that gives you this space to the bottom, but on the back you get all the real estate all the way down on there. That one's going to be nice. I think it wants a nice blue butterfly to bring out the blue on that. So there we go. That's that um, book. So let's look in our next book here. Let's just... Now, yeah, these are going to be quite interesting because of how they are set up. And I'm just thinking that I could make some tall pockets instead. Okay, let's freestyle this one a little bit. I'm going to use that. I like that image. What's on the other side? Yeah, not too worried about that. So I'm going to use that image. Quite like that one, so we'll use that image. I like the thistle and I like that, so we'll have a look at those. Herb Robert, oh, I love Herb Robert, it's such a thug though in the garden. Um, we, I just had to sacrifice a, um, quite a lot of it because it was literally overtaking a whole border and, you, and drowning out other stuff. But because it's the geranium family, oh, the smell of the leaves. And they're so pretty. The bees love them. So I don't mind it in the garden. But, um, yeah, it's it can be a bit of a thug. <laughs> Okay, let, let's have a play with these ones. We'll leave this to the side. Oh, it's in the box to the side of me anyway, isn't it? And just see what we can do. So that wording corresponds with this. And I'm just wondering if 
I do the three stacked one, but use some of this wording on it. Okay, I've got an idea I think I will do with this one. And first thing I'm going to do is cut it right up the centre where that black line is. Oh, this one is doing it as well. Look at that. I guess I really do need a new blade. Cool. Excuse my head as I just am me blowing, clear everything up. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to turn it around and see if we're going up at number two is any better. So I was going to trim just a little bit off of this side. No, it's not going to do it properly, is it? Damn. Okay, let's grab my new blade back. Let's come in from this end. Yeah, that's cutting that better, but it's still leaving bits. Oh, I'm going to have to save up and get one of those little guillotine ones. Okay. I think I'm just going to tear it. I'm just going to tear these. So, I'm thinking that the top of my pocket here would be nice. Let's keep it straight, though. Let's make it straight on here. In my pocket would be there. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to be our pocket. I want to use some of the wording as the next level. And then a bit of that at the bottom. Yeah, I think we do need a little bit off of here. That's a bit too tall. These are going to be very rustic. And I want a little bit off of here as well. Just be trying to keep everything straight. there. Now I'm not going to put little divots in this otherwise that means I'm going to take out some of the wording. Um, but I like that. What I think I might do is just round the corners of the top one. Do I round them? No actually I'm going to just snip them. Just give it a little tiny little bit off just to kind of give it a bit of an angle and I think that would look really nice and then that's going to glue down on a page and you can either glue it the um, two sides and have it as a big tuck or all three and something can go in there hmm, yeah okay so I don't always follow my templates um, they're, they're um, nice to have as a guide so let's give this a bit of an ink and put this one together. So I'm probably inking off camera. Not that you'd probably want to see me inking. So with this one, I'm going to um, glue all three sides down on here. And then that one. 
just go on to there. Okay. And then the same with this one. Three bits. going to weight that down and grab a third one. There we go. So that's that style of pocket. I'm looking at this one. I'm thinking I might do the same. Yeah, I might just do another one of these ones. Okay, let's line things up on my mat. Oops. It's lined up. How's that for a pocket? Well, that'll make a nice big pocket on there, wouldn't it? Okay, This one, do you want it as the three? You lose quite a bit of the thistle. thinking that this sorry I was quite quiet I wasn't thinking that I'm just going to have this as a single pocket I'm not going to use that but I do want to put the name of it as like the label on it Just put that under it there. Um, like so. I'll take a little notch out of the top. And then this is just a straightforward, simple pocket. So 11, which means it's going to be five and a half. Okay, that goes there. That's going to go on a page. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we've done a single one as well. Let's give this an ink. save a bit of time um have i just done the wrong side i have inked the wrong side it's a sphere thistle not a globe thistle not my life
not that we're being um you know we're being precise we can put all sorts of labels on here it doesn't really matter for junk journaling but uh, i suppose that's the gardener in me it's like no you got to get the right name for it <laughs> what am i like okay so that will just be a single little pocket that you just glue down on a page you can add more decoration to that later let's weigh that down and that was our three little pockets. So we've got a little pocket here, bigger pocket here, and then you'd have your big pocket or it could be a big flap. Mm, that's good. Okay. How are we doing on time? We're at 45 minutes. Shall we do for the last few minutes, shall we be brave and... Um, grab our Edith Holden book. Where are you, my lovely Edith Holden book? Here we go. My treasure. Okay. So let's have a look and see their november -y ones. Oh, look at that. I wonder, this is where I do like to use my, um, like my templates. Do you know what? I think that would work nice as the three because you've got the label down the bottom there, haven't you? Okay. And there's only writing on the back, so I'm not too worried about the back. I mean, it's beautiful writing, but uh, yeah, that's a candidate for that size. Let's have a quick little look to see if there's anything else that jumps out. Oh, look at that. Because mm. mm, then you've got a picture on the other side. Okay. It's me struggling again, isn't it, with uh, images. If there's an image on the back, but that page, I don't mind that page to do something with because there's writing on the back. But when you've got an image there and an image there, I'm going to struggle to use my Edith Holden. I really am. And December, toadstools. What have we got on this side here? Oh, there, the violets. I thought that would make a really nice... I was thinking that would make a nice pocket, but then you've got all these lovely verses here about violets and things, and they would be nice together. So we'll think of something to do with that. And then we're at the beginning, so okay. I'm <laughs> still struggling to use my Edith Holden, aren't I? Still struggling to use her. Okay, we've got this one. Let's do this. Let's move this one out of my way. While well, we've got a few minutes left in roughly around about an hour, aren't my videos? Okay. So if that's the image there, there, it's only just going to get them. Okay, let's do a little bit of trimming up off the sides to make it five. So we go to the wing and then where would five be be there okay yeah and if we do four on here um Actually, I'm going to do four and a quarter so that when I put this one on here, I'm not covering too much of that bird. 
So we've done that top one. The next one was two and three quarters. Yeah, I still keep that at two and three quarters. That's going to go on there. And then this one will go down the bottom there. Yeah, actually, that's worked out quite nicely. Okay. Now we can have a little divot out of this. So let me just. Oh, I still can't pick things up properly. Measure this at two and a half. Put that back on that one, that one, that one. So, yep, they're all this way. Make sure it's centered. Take the tiniest of little notches out. That paper is tough. <laughs> and then that is definitely not going to be um, done that small. I'm going to go along here and then probably like that. So how big is that on a page? Uh, we need to come up a little bit for it to fit on a page. Look. There, so that's how that one would be. That actually worked out really nicely. I like that. So let's give it a bit of an ink, get it glued together. Um, inking first. And we've actually used our Edith Holden. Woohoo! It's the only page I've found to do, <laughs> do one, but there we go. We've done, we have done an Edith Holden one. Now, the last um, last week and this week, I haven't done any, um, used any pages from the um, Consider England book. Uh, which one is it? It is this one. The pages are really, really shiny and um, it's one of, uh, it's a newer book. It's second hand, but it is a newer um, publication. And the reason for it is there's not really, the images are odd size images. So that's a book that I need to think about and probably make some different type of ephemera from. Um, so I will be coming back to that book. I haven't forgotten about it, um, but a lot of the images are probably going to be fussy cut out themselves. Um, individually rather than turned into pockets or tags and, and things like that so um, yeah I've not been working on that one but I haven't forgotten about it I will will use it okay so we had let's just put it back on here so we've got this one here so I think yeah, roughly around there is where it's going to go. So if I do a bit of glue here and here, and that will stick this one down. Then make sure we are on our page. Move that one. I did not want to do that. That's straight, and that is about straight. Okay. I'm just going to weight that down. I don't want that to move until it's glued, dried. Okay. So there we go. There are some pockets that we've made. I will just move these tidy up this bit to the side and I will just bring in and show you these were what I did off camera so I've got a nice three stacked pocket two stacked pocket and then we've just got some little pockets there the second book that we used you've got a little um, double pocket there a couple of single pockets and then these are the um, pockets with the flaps on and then from the other book 
<coughs> excuse me we did a little three stacked pocket and then we did a single pocket and then we've just done our lovely Edith Holden one there um, as well which is a three stack pocket so I hope that's inspired you to um, use your book pages to make some lovely pockets um, as I said we will come to in a few weeks time um, our lovely stash of things um, that we're getting together here if you're following along and then we can do some more decorating with all of those bits as well we'll bring in other like little digital labels some lace um butterflies that kind of thing and we'll make them all nice and pretty um but yeah i hope that's it. you've enjoyed it thanks very much for watching happy crafting and i will see you in my next video bye